okay, we're going to be making this brace here. And to make this brace, we're going to make this rough sketch with the line tool of this shape on the end. So let's do that now. We've got a file, new. This time we must make sure that we are in metric because this will be in millimeters. We've got a part, standard, MMIPT. Start a 2D sketch. Get your line tool. And I'm going to be starting with this point right here. And go down, over, down, over, up, over, and then connect where I started. You want to kind of make sure you have your 90 degree marks where they should be. It doesn't matter about the sizes right now because we're going to put those in next. Now we're going to click on dimension. I know this bottom number is 90. And it explodes off the page. So we're going to click back on front to bring it back into view. All right. On this particular one, we see we want the height here, but it's not given to us. But if we add the 10 and this 10 and this 20, that gives us 40. But it doesn't tell us this amount right here. So we're going to put in as another 10. So it gives us a total of 50. Okay, so we know this one's 10. This one's 10. And for the other amounts right here, we have to say the 90. Here we have 25 and 35. That gives us 60. 90 minus the 60 will give us this 30 right here. And this number right here, we already said was really 25. We'll check that. It is 25. Now you could have done this one right here, but it should already be 35. Okay, now we're going to finish our sketch. I'm going to bring it back into view. And we need to know how much to extrude it. So let's go back to our picture. How wide is it? And right here it says 50. So we're going to extrude that 50 millimeters. We had the rough shape that we wanted. Okay, now we're going to put the rectangle on the back to make a cut through here. So we're going to go to Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to click on the back. We're going to make a rectangle in the back. I believe this one is 26. And well, let's go back and check our measurement. Uh, it's 26 here, but it's also 20 deep. And it's 50 all the way across. So if we say 50 minus 26, that gives us 24 to share equally 12 and 12 here. So let's do that. So this one's 20. Okay, from this edge to this edge will be 12. And then we finish our sketch. We're going to cut it. So we'll go to extrude. Click on icon and we're cut and make sure it's all the way through. And now it's starting to look more like our brace. Now we need to put our holes in place. So we, I'm going to 2D sketch. I'm going to place two points and simply dimension those two points. Let's see, 15 away from this edge, they're 26 apart. And again, they will also be 12 from the edge because this is 50 minus 26 gives us 12 from here. And the raise is 12. So, we're 15 from this edge. And this one as well. And I'm running out of time. So, I will finish. I'll pick back up there on the next video.